Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we've got another Transformers toy reveal. So Hasbro was doing a roundtable event where they had a Q&A with a bunch of different people. They were talking about our modded toys and how uh, there's some interest in doing that, even some Robots in Disguise 2001 toys, which I thought was pretty awesome. Uh, there's a lot of ideas that they have in mind, but that's not really a guarantee that they're going to happen. It's just they have a lot on their plate that they want to do. And I definitely don't blame them that, you know, there's just so many Transformers characters that you could do in the broad spectrum of things with uh, different series. Because with Legacy, we're not just doing Generation 1, we're doing Prime, we're doing Armada, we're doing this and that. It's just, it's a lot on their plate. But uh, yeah, they brought up that. Uh, they brought up Thunderwing, which I thought was pretty cool, and Bludgeon. Although I did realize that, oh wait, they're doing those pretender characters in the core class lineup, so they're probably going to be in that. Although I would like a big, massive size Thunderwing, kind of like how he was in Transformers Prime, uh, the video game. So I, I thought that'd be nice. But uh, regardless, there's a bunch of other questions if you guys are curious what they say. Some of it is very vague, but uh, I will link that down in the description below. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about was their big toy reveal, and that was Autobot, Blaster, and Eject. This is the last Kingdom Voyager class figure in the lineup. It's going to come out next year, and they did mention that this is not going to be an exclusive. It's going to be on the shelves. Thank you for that. I'm so happy about that. Um, but he does look very awesome. Now, the only other blaster I have is this one. I didn't get the G1 reissue. I wanted to get it, but I couldn't really find it. And I didn't get the Titans Returns one, so these guys are kind of left out. But these guys weren't really the best. I mean, I kind of like this, but nah, I didn't really like that too much. So something that could go along the lines with the Netflix version of Soundwave, I thought that'd be awesome, and that seems to be the case here. Uh, I'm not too sure about the size, I'm not sure if he's going to be smaller than Soundwave or if he's going to be taller, because he does also come with a little cassette. And I'm very happy that they're coming with Eject. Now, he does have Transparent Blue, I guess that's because this is going to be repacked with the Legacy lineup, so they wanted to incorporate that Transparent Blue Energon weapon style thing, kind of like how Bulkhead has that Gatling gun thing in Transparent Blue, and some of the Deluxes also have Transparent Plastic weapons. And uh, another good thing about that is the last time we got a humanoid cassette character was Rewind, so I think that's perfect to do Eject. I don't know why this never got repainted, but anyways, um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty nice, and then also, I'm glad to say that this is not just going to be a remold of the Rumble and Frenzy, as well as that uh, four-pack of characters that we've seen previously. They just look too much like Minecraft characters. This one looks like it's got some decent articulation with ball joints in the elbows, I assume. So I'm pretty happy about that. More articulation, that's good. As far as the tape deck player itself is concerned, it looks so clean, even better than the Soundwave if I have to be honest. It's just a, a nice clean shape and I tried to look at it, tried to examine it, and I couldn't find anything that's a remold of Soundwave. So it seems like this figure is going to be a whole new mold, which I, I appreciate that. And uh, the color scheme is nice. I love the handle. That's an awesome uh, touch. And uh, the robot mode does look very nice. It's it's very blocky, but it doesn't look too blocky like the Titans Returns one. I think that's why I kind of avoided that one is because it just looked a little too chunky to me. This one just looks perfect. Um, and yes, he does have all the Siege ports, so that's very nice. Uh, the head looks proper. You know, he's got the silver dome, so that's very nice. You know, of course, he's got the yellow on the chest. The color scheme does look pretty fair. And uh, yeah, the only thing I, I'm kind of curious about is the size. I'm not sure if he's going to be a small Voyager or if he's just going to be an average Voyager height. I don't imagine he's going to be taller than Soundwave. Um, also, I do like the blaster itself. I, I, I think, yeah, well, <laughs> that's kind of funny saying that. The weapon, I should say. Um, I, I think that does look pretty nice. And um, yeah, hopefully you could also use the Soundwave cassettes and they can kind of interwork between each other. I imagine they could. But uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with this and uh, I can't wait to get it. Even if I can't get the Kingdom release, I imagine I can get the Legacy re-release eventually. So, with that out of the way, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudes. And I will see you guys next time. Let me ask you something. Do you like Transformers?
Look, man, I don't care. I'm just trying to make conversation. Anyways, I've got something very special to announce. Are you doing a giveaway? Why? Why is it every time I try to announce something, someone wants a giveaway? Oh, special occasion. Why don't you do a giveaway? Oh, you want to do stop motion steers? Why don't you do a giveaway? You know, I'm not just a piece of meat. I got feelings and emotions, too. So I'm announcing a giveaway. In collaboration with h &E Games, who is actually providing and supporting this giveaway, we are going to provide a $25 Amazon e-gift card. That's right, we're giving it to a lucky winner. It could be yours for the taking, so don't miss the chance. You've got nothing to lose. There are requirements though, so please check out the link down in the description below. And the giveaway will end on November 22nd, 2021 at 11.59 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you're asking if the giveaway is open after that, Thank you for listening. Please send your support to h &E Games because without them, we wouldn't be doing this. So remember, check the link down below, support h &E Games, and best of luck to the winner. What am I doing with my hands? So, can I enter? I am an emotional time bomb.